Hello guys, welcome back. So, in this class we are going to create our first app. But first let me introduce a little bit a little bit about apps. Django is composed by apps. Maybe this name would be a little bit confused in the beginning because apps at the moment uh, we have uh, the conception that we have about apps is like a final product or something like this but in Django it's a little bit is more for components you can see it as a component so you create an, one project and then for every functionality or by the domain you you decide when you divide uh, the functionalities in your application by the uh, by apps or by components, okay? In Django it's called apps, so if you prefer you can think about it as a component. So, uh, first thing that we need to do, uh, we will stop the, the server, you type Ctrl C, okay? You click here and type Ctrl C, and to create this app you type python manage.py and start app, okay? Uh, this this is the command the command to create a new app in your application, but as well we need to provide a name for that. I'm gonna call that core, but you can put the name that you want. Okay, that's no rule for that. Uh, okay, once you type it here in PyCharm, you can see it already that you have the core application already included in the in the in, in our project okay so let's have a look in its structure the first thing that we have here is a migration folder with an empty init file like this to make the file the python uh, package and this folder will store soon the migrations or the files that describe how your database needs to look like okay so once you create one new class like clients or products or sale uh, you know or be used it it will describe when we are going to run one one command that will create one migration file that describe, describes how Django should create the table, the database table. That's basically this, this, the migrations. So here as well we have another init file to make the core folder on valid, valid Python package. We have the admin file. Uh, we're going to talk about admin soon. We have the, the folder apps. We have the, uh, sorry, the file apps. The file models. Models is another very important, maybe one of the most important files for the application, uh, for your app. So here we are going to create our model, our clients, or class clients, class products, class bills, and so on and so forth. Uh, as well, we have the test files. Here we're going to create the files for testing your application, your app or any functionality that you might have. Uh, here in views, views is one another impo very important project. We are going to redirect our URLs to a view and this view will uh, maybe contact one model to get data from the database or save the data on, in one database and will give a response back to the user. So that's the view uh, the importance of the view file, okay? But we're going to talk with more details uh, in the next classes. So, okay, once you have the fold, the, the app folder creating, and we need to register that on the settings. So, we go here in settings, and you will declare, you will set up, uh, you will register your app in your project, okay? So you type core like this, and now Django knows that you want to use. Oh, sorry, it's not. Uh, it's not core. Yeah, it is core. Yes, the project is uh, clients, and the application is core. So here you register the application that you want. So once you put it here, Django knows that it needs to manage and provide access to this application, okay? Your application is up and running. Um, let's do. Let's create one very, very quick model here to see it it working in a real world. So let's say that we have a client. 
you want to have a client um, app so you type class client and then you need to write from models model like this okay so that's the base of one one model class so uh, you type class that's the default keyword to create classes in Python and then the cli the class name and then you will write from um, from model models that we import here dot model let's say that this class we're going to have the field name okay this field name will call will be text field so you you type models dot uh, char field and define the max length max length in this case let's say that is 70 characters okay uh, as well this client might have age you want to store this information as well so you can use a use an integer field and in salary for example so models dot decimal field for decimal field you need to provide the max digits let's say seven digits and the decimal places uh, after the comma will be two okay we're going to have a look in more details about models but now it's just to see our application running okay once you have the, uh, the your model defined, we can create the database and create this um, this table in the database. So you you go here in your terminal and type Python manage py, um, and you type migrate make migration. Sorry, make migration migrations. Sorry. So, okay, as you can see here, one migration 0001 initial was created for model client. If you have a look here in the migration folder, Django just create one, one Python file that describes how Django should create the database table for you. Okay, so you don't need to worry about creating tables and databases manually because Django, Django will handle like 95% of this hassle for you. So, okay, so okay, it doesn't create anything into the database itself. That's the database that we're going to choose. If, if you have a look here in settings, in the section databases, we can see that the, the, by default Django comes with uh, a one settings for using a uh, SQLite 3 database so you don't need to install anything you don't need to set up anything and for local development the SQLite 3 is more than enough when we will uh, put our application online on Heroku we will uh, install the Postgres because one is one more prof most more professional database we, you, you cannot you should not Put one real application running with SQLite 3 okay so we use Postgres Postgres but for local development we are happy with this so we have the database here already uh, but now that we created the migration it doesn't affect the database yet it just created this file to really create the, the table the tables inside this database we need to do migrate Okay, now Django will read all these applications registered here one by one and we'll see if one of them has migrations pending to apply and Django will uh, create this into the database. So as we can see here, it first first applied migrations for ALF and then for Django admin, for content types, for ALF again, and finally for our core application so you see that Django has other application already with migration files waiting for be creating created into the database so uh, our uh, migration is just one more file in this list okay so every time do you you create anything else we are gonna do the same okay so now we can run our server again okay and to see if you if our 
client was created correctly, if it's wor working fine, we can access the Django admin, okay? We're gonna have on a specific class as, as well for Django admin, but for now we just we just need to log in into that and see our client um, working there. So when you if you have a if you have a look in our main view files like this, you can see that the, uh, sorry uh, URLs file. You can see that the admin is the only the only uh, URL defined at the moment and it's pointing out to one app called admin site URLs so when you type admin in you in your URL you are redirected to the uh, redirected to this login folder uh, login page okay and to create your credential to log in here you we're going to use the console again so you type control C you stop your um, your con your server and then type python man uh, manage dot py and create super user that's the command another important command command that you need to memorize uh, this will ask first for your username so I'll tap admin I will left the email blank you need to set up a password of at, at least if you're not wrong eight characters okay so here says super user created successfully so I will run it again and now we have the credentials to log in into your Django um, backend admin okay so it's a very nice application that I will detail it in the future but we can see that our client is not appearing here so the first thing that we need to to do to to have our models registered into the admin you need to go to your application in the admin file and you need to import that class that you just created so you type from models import uh, client and then you register that into the admin so you type admin.site.register and you type client and here we go that's all that we need to do if you come back there and refresh the page refresh the page you see that now we have the core application here and the client uh, class already um, appearing in the in the Django admin okay guys so now here we can test it we can click add clients so I'll, I'll create one client called Mary and age and salary and click save and here we go it's creating it, it is already saving in the database in a very very easy way to do if you want to edit that you can click on it you click save it will uh, edit the object for you or you can if you want to delete that you remove you can remove it, remove it from here click go it will uh, bring a confirmation screen as well we have the same button delete inside the object that will confirm as well so guys that's a very very easy way to have on one administration for your applications so in this class we created our first application our first very very simple model when we register that on the database Oh, sorry, into the admin, we create the database, we synchronize the migrations, and we create a super user, and we were able to log in and manage it, manage our our model, okay, guys? So, it's, it was a very, very uh, simple thing to do, like, in the way, I mean, like, we didn't do much things, but we, we did important things for... Um, having getting you a little bit more used to Django and for with the Django command line okay so I hope you get the same results on your machine but if you didn't get that no worries you can pause here your doubts your console with errors and for sure I'm going to help you okay I hope you enjoyed enjoy this class and I'll see you next time bye bye